Hello, and welcome back to Strategic IT Solutions. In this video, I'll show you how to create a route table in AWS. Now, what's a route table? A route table contains a set of rules called routes, and these are used to determine where your traffic from your subnet or your gateway is directed. How do route tables work? Specifically for AWS, your VPC has an implicit router, and you use your route table to control where your network traffic is directed. So each subnet in your VPC must be associated with a route table, and this is the only way the router will know where to direct your traffic. So it must be associated with a route table. You can explicitly associate a subnet with a particular route table. So you can create as many route tables as you need, and you can assign a subnet to that. Um, you can also implicitly associate the subnets with the main route table. So if you did not want to create a specific route table, um, AWS automatically assign your subnet that was created to the main route table. A subnet can only be associated with one route table at a time, but you can have as many subnets as you need associated with a specific route table. Okay, so now we will go into the demonstration. Now I'll show you how to create a route table. Log in to your AWS console, you'll click VPC. On the left navigation, you will see route tables. And you will click create a route table. You're going to give that a name. And I'm going to call it um, internal VPC private route table. This will be for a private network and you're going to select the internal VPC. Um, we're going to tag it, just give it a name as the tag, and click Create. Um, doesn't like that tag, so we will call it internal. And Create. So now we see our route table has been created. So if we close that, we see we have a new route table. Um, the next step is to associate a subnet to this route table. So we have an internal route table and we have, we have a private route table and a public route table. So I'm going to click on the public route table since I have a subnet created for that already. And we will click subnet association, edit, and my public subnet, I'm going to click that and click save. So now we have that subnet for the public network is assigned to the public route table. So any um, resources on this subnet will be using this route table. And that's it. That's how you create a route table in AWS and assign a subnet. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.